two men who are fighting more for twenty dollars is <laughs> these two men right here. We got Betty, we got James yeah. kicking it off for us, or I should say Rivers. I gotta, yeah. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to, I'm gonna remember calling him Rivers and not James. It's hard. It really is hard, you know, living up your name with Shoyo James the whole time, and then you switch it up to Rivers. Yeah. Right. We're gonna see PS2, the classic. And these guys play a lot. They play at the weekly a fair amount. And just through their history of being friends together, Biddy and James definitely no stranger to each other's gameplay. Yeah, that's going to be what factors into the whole matchup. These two know each other in and out. They play each other almost frequent, very frequent, like you mentioned before. They're two very close friends. And yeah, in this case, it doesn't matter whether you're number three in Jersey, number four, number one. You're in Jersey. Yeah, you're in Jersey, and you're playing you're, against the top players. Your residency comes with being a good player. Yeah. Especially when these two players are practically best friends yeah. for life. So, yeah. It's hard to say who's going to have the upper advantage, but in this Ooh. case, it seems First Blood is going to go in on Crown's favor. Good that stuff sword to had Rivers. some words. But, uh, yeah. But in the game, however, Young Link versus Crom. Interesting matchup dynamic here. Crom has got the sword. Young Link has a, a quite smaller sword, but he got the projectiles. And Biddy will show you all of them. Yeah. Extensively. And that's going to be the key factor. Like you mentioned before, the projectiles are something big. But in this case, when you have a swinger, a slugger like Krom, who can just freaking throw out frame three moves like that. With someone who's not oh afraid my to goodness. hold forward. 52%. Like dude, 52% off of one little string right there. That's some yeah. good stuff. And finally, Biddy's going to strike back, get the first blood on, yeah. his, on his name. But... Yeah, it seems a little bit too late when you're playing against a character like Krom, who has very, very strong. You gotta kill pump power. the brakes early. Yeah, you gotta pump it early, and um, you gotta play a lot more safer because Biddy's just getting in James' face way too much. Especially and when it comes to that shield, there's a lot of thing like up out of shield. It's frame ten, but it's still very potent. Does twenty six percent. It's not something you want to be hit by. Yeah, but and the parry and the F smash, good stuff from Biddy. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta risk it for the biscuit, and in this case it kind of paid off for Biddy. Still in a very, very tight situation, 111, and yes, Ooh, a dash yeah. attack can definitely put you in a bad scenario, but that's some good DI coming in from Biddy. Yes. 127, and an F tilt. Let me say, parry into F tilt. Not only did he parry, he parried like a drop option, which is a lot more like, it's like a statement when you do that, because like yeah. they're they're dropping from ledge and choosing like one of whatever options they have. And it's not just a get up attack, it's not just that kind of timing. It's just like, I'm better than you, and you're gonna eat that forward tilt, and that's game one going to Rivers. Yeah, and that's gonna be the key factor for the rest of this matchup. Um Krom is no stranger is no stranger, no slouch to characters like Young Link. Um, the moment that he gets in, the moment he finds that momentum to just get inside Young Link's his head, like just like that, you know, he just ran up and jumped on a platform and decided, hey, I'm gonna hit you and get, give you 49%. Um, yeah, if Rivers just continues finding these opening opening positions to get in, yeah. then there's gonna be so much damage being put out. And he Ooh. shows no signs of stopping. Like I said, you let himself get in, and you're gonna get carried real far to the blast zone. Good stuff from Rivers, not taking any damage whatsoever, only 32%. Did he drop that conversion there? That could've been a really sick combo. When you get up, like, especially since Krom's a fast follower, both these guys are very fast followers. They can combo each other pretty hard. And we're just seeing that coming from James especially, and that might be the stock. Yeah, and the problem with um, what you mentioned before about the combos, Betty has not been connecting and getting these confirms like the way he's wanted to this whole set so he's, far. So. He's dropping in some pretty bad spots. Like that up was pretty crucial for him to hit that, but James, Oh. okay. Good air dodge. Yeah, that's just that really like suffocated spot. You pushed him all the way to the edge. Oh, and good stuff to Biddy, finally getting that stock, and fairly even, you know, 49% of extra credit, but it's nothing that Biddy can't, you know, He's healthy. counter back on, but... Never mind. Yeah, you're healthy, but all <laughs> it takes is one blink of an eye to not be healthy, and just like that, Biddy's in a very, very tight spot now. Once again, 48% on River's second stock, but Biddy hanging on for dear life. And oh James my gosh, and this could have been so bad if it was more offstage. Just rushing in with all those hits. Yeah, you just gotta respect Crumb's you know, abilities to get in. Yeah. And that frame data is no joke, you know. His and Fire even, Emblem characters are just so, so blessed. And even when James was starting out all those hitboxes there, you did see like him take a moment just to respect that Biddy can have, throw out Ooh. the nares. He, can... <laughs> he baited him into that down smash. Good stuff for Rivers. And I just saw Biddy move his finger, you know, up and down. So I'm guessing he wants to take it back to Town City with yeah. good reasoning, you know, the camping platforms. Um, 
it goes from FD form to Battlefield form. It wasn't really platform. a stage thing. He saw him do some work with the platforms that he did, and then James is kind of like, he uh, maximized off yeah. of it. And the issue with um this stage for Biddy, there's some pros and cons to it. The pros are there's so much space to camp around, there's so much space to move around, and you know you got platforms in some cases, you don't have platforms in other cases. But the pros and crumbs. Pros and crumbs, yeah, that's the best way to put it. Now here's the crumbs of the situation. Crumbs of it is oh, Biddy's been combo? letting. Yeah, that was a good little conversion right there for Biddy. But um, since Biddy's been letting Rivers get in his face time after time, and Rivers capitalizing each and every time. We're seeing Biddy play it. He's pitching the tent right now. He's got the fire <laughs> on deck. I like that little conversion. 107 already dealt on Rivers, but um, it's not about how much damage you deal. It's about how you can seal the stock, and yet to seal the stock is Biddy. Yep. We see him die at this exact percent and to that exact move. And Biddy just spaced it out very carefully there. Yeah, these raw forward smashes have definitely been coming in clutch. Just smash attacks in general have been coming cut for Rivers, and you see it right here. Ooh, that's Once that again, up. going for it. Nah. Ooh. He had his jump. Yeah, he has a blessed uh, recovery either way. I'm pretty sure the jump would would not even matter. He could just up B and he would have been safe. Yeah, you don't like up B does travel. And getting the nice back air off, off the ground there. Uh, boomerang not coming back in time. Oh, good stuff oh, right there yeah. from Rivers. The jab into back air conversion. Not going to steal the stock. But good recovery right there for Biddy. And good, good thing he had the bomb there. That could have been a lot more damage, but the fact that he just got off ledge for free is kind of nice. Yeah. Ooh, the bomb oh. coming in clutch again. All right. And still, still living it out. And the you, back air won. Good, yeah, good utilization of that back air there, but no back air, no tether can save you from that Krom F tilt. And now the question becomes, how is River going to capitalize back? He's down 132%, but Krom has the kill potential, and Young Link is just that yeah. light. He could literally die right now if, he, if yeah. he finds the right conversion. Oh my gosh, and as I say that, that could have been so I thought dangerous. he was going to choose where he was going to go there. but No, that was just some um, very good awareness from Biddy's part, you know. Opting yeah. to go back to the stage. And, and that Town safety. City platform kind of being the savior there. He yeah. could have dragged him down. But just like that, Rivers brought this back to very even. 139 to 96. It's two characters with two different weight classes. And one smash attack can definitely seal the stock. Oh, are you going to get stretchered? Nope. Nope. And Rivers hanging on for dear life with the second stock. And up I throw. Think, oh, forward no, throw. yeah. Trying to go for that. Little um, DI mix up. If he was a little bit closer to the ledge, that would definitely would have killed. But unfortunately for Biddy, he didn't really have anything to, to kill off of there. Yeah, he's got to find a way to land. Speaking of to kill, man, um, Rivers has been hanging on to this stock for so long, and he's been playing it so safely, so cautiously, and just like that, he's stolen the lead back from Biddy. Even at this high percent, you still see him going in, just like almost carefree, but. He's playing so cautiously, just weaving around the hits that Biddy putting out. That really breaks my heart to know that even at 200%, up throw is not even a kill option for Young Link, especially in the high single platform. That's understandably. Forward throw would have killed there. That's the thing. Uh, back throw? Up throw. Yeah. Up throw, yeah, definitely. Eventually, that up throw is going to have to kill. It's got it. Yeah. And unfortunate uh -oh. to see when it killed, but 35% already dealt on Biddy's final stock. It just happens so fast. You don't really have that much time to just, like, go back and just, like, Re recalibrate, just yeah. get back into it. James is just on you. He's putting on that pressure. And yeah, Biddy, and just like that, yeah. man. All the pressure has finally paid off yeah. for... Biddy's going to have to say hello to the loser's bracket. Unfortunate, but really, really good winner's run for Biddy coming into the, the whole um, Starcadian. I think a big thing that he...